Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a haul of some craft items I have purchased in the past few weeks. I recently got a Cricut machine and purchased the essentials I needed to start making projects. Hopefully this video also helps those who are Cricut beginners so you can get an idea of the supplies you might need to start off. So the main thing I got was the Cricut Explore Air 2 machine in the color yellow, which I believe it's called Sunflower. It already comes with a fine point blade, which is nice. Whenever you open the machine, it has two small storage compartments where you can store your tools and small things like that. On the right side of the machine, it has the power button, the material dial in the middle, the load slash unload, cut, and pause buttons. On the left side, it has a little compartment to store tools, then under that is a port for cartridges and the open button. Next, I got some mats. These are a must-have because this is where you'll be placing all of your materials in order to cut them. Cricut sells four different colored mats. The blue is for lightweight materials, the green is a standard grip, then they have pink and purple which have a much thicker grip for fabric and things like that. They also have them in different sizes. The smaller ones are 12 by 12 inches and the bigger ones are 12 by 24 inches. My Cricut machine came with a blue one, so I got one pack with the two smaller green mats and one with the bigger ones. By the way, these look a little dirty because I already used them a couple of times, so don't mind that. Next, I got some tools. The first package I got was this Cricut basic tool set that comes with five different ones. It came with these sharp scissors with a cap to cover the sharp tip. It also comes with this weeding tool, a spatula, some tweezers, and a small scraper. Then I got this pack with another scraper and spatula because when I got all of these tools, they were on sale for like 60% off, so they were a great deal. Plus, I thought it wouldn't hurt to have a couple of extra tools just in case. Next, I got a bigger scraper to use for larger projects. Lastly, I got a brayer which is nice to use to roll your materials flat onto your mat. So those were all of the tools I got. Next, I bought a couple of rolls of Orco 651 vinyl which is permanent. So I got a black one and a yellow one. They also sell them in 12 by 12 sheets, so I got one in turquoise and one in purple. Then I got a bunch of these self-adhesive vinyl sheets for super cheap at Target. They were 10 cents each because they were part of their Christmas clearance, so that was an awesome find. They had glitter ones, white, black, green, red, gold, silver, and other patterns. I can't use any of this vinyl without any transfer paper, so I got a huge roll from Amazon for a great prize. I really like how it has grit lines because it can help you cut more easily. Then I got a sheet of black and white HTV, which stands for heat transfer vinyl. This is the material you use to make shirts or stuff like that. I also got this heat protectant sheet to use with the thing I'm going to show you guys next. So this is the Easy Press 2. It's basically an iron but much bigger and heavy duty.
It comes with a base. I got the 9x9 Easy Press in the color mint. Here you can see how the bottom of the Easy Press looks like. It doesn't have any steam holes like a household iron. It has even heat distribution across the plate, so this will make it much easier when applying your vinyl onto a shirt. They have a few different sizes, so you can do small and larger projects more easily. It also came with a piece of vinyl of the Cricut logo in a bag to make a cute storage bag for your Easy Press. So the last thing I got was a heat mat, which I'll be using for the quick demo I'll be doing for you guys. The first thing I did was set the temperature to 290 degrees Fahrenheit on the Easy Press. While it was heating up, I ironed the bag so it would lay flat with no wrinkles. Then I placed the vinyl in the middle of the bag and set the timer for 15 seconds. After that, I flipped the bag over and pressed for 15 more seconds. Lastly, I peeled the clear plastic from the design and it was done. That is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see future videos of me using the Cricut machine. I would love to know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time with a new DIY.